Hey guys, I'm just coming up to the end of a job here, uh, pretty much wrapping up, and I just need to install some step lights, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you how to rough these in. And some of the job has already been done, so I'm going to show you right here. We have a switch right here, so living room and stairs. So this is my living room switch. This is my stair switch right here. So I've got power coming into here. I've got a three wire going down to the basement switch. So the three wire from upstairs comes down into here. And from here I got my switch leg, which is uh, the wire that carries power when the switch gets turned on. I have my switch leg going down to here, to this box right here. I'm gonna have this red wire. I use red, you can use whatever color you want. It's just low voltage wire, uh, 18 gauge, two wire. And this is gonna go, this is gonna power. Um, the driver will be in here. And when you turn on the switch, it carries power to the driver, to the 120 volt side of the driver. And it's gonna carry 12 volts down this low voltage wire up to, I'm gonna have the wire, you can see the red wire just kinda of comes down to here. I'm going to run it to every stoplight location. So I'm just going to pull this wire maybe about a foot sticking out of the wall. So I kind of marked uh, equal distances between. So this is my next light. I'm just going to pull this wire so that I have about a one foot loop sticking out. And my next light is actually going to be inside of this beam right here. So I've marked it. I'm just going to cut out a hole the size of the light. I'm going to choose this hole saw right here, whatever size this is. You can see it's uh, it's just about the size, maybe slightly bigger than, than the light, the back of the light, but it's smaller than the finished uh, side of the light here. Important, make sure there's nothing running on the back side of this beam. Check, go on the other side, check, make sure there's no wire staple to it. Uh, there's no water lines or anything, so very important. So I'll just start drilling it. The hole is drilled, so I'll poke the wire through here, through here. And into here. And so it's 10 inches kind of on an angle this way, right here. What I'm actually gonna do is get some cardboard, some scrap cardboard, and I'm just gonna kind of staple it from this stud to this stud, or maybe just a piece from here, kind of like this. I'm gonna staple it, cut a little hole in it, and poke the wire through. I've marked my light, where my light's gonna go right here. And then I'm just gonna take a knife, make a hole in there. Then I'm gonna take this wire. I'll leave approximately 12 inches, one foot sticking out. Just kinda of coil it up so it doesn't get you know, pulled back into the wall from the other side. Uh, Here's what it looks like when it's all done, so. Get the wires pulled through, right here. Coil them up a little bit so they don't go back inside the wall. Now I'm just going back here again and just kind of pulling my slack, pulling the slack back again. I don't want all of this extra wire to go to waste. As you can see now, I've got my wires in the box. Okay, so I've shown you how to install your rough-in wiring uh, before all of the drywall went up. And now I'm on a different job site. And I'm gonna show you how to wire this up. So I'm just gonna cut these off, maybe about six inch length, like this. I'm gonna cut it here. Okay, and then I'm gonna separate them. And then I'm gonna strip them. Maybe a half inch or so. So what I wanna do is take my white stripe on this side and take my white stripe on this side and these ones are gonna to splice together to one of the wires in here, okay? Now this is prepped. I'm just gonna cut this loop right down the middle. I'm stripping just about four inches of insulation here. It doesn't really matter too much if you have like a black and a white wire, but in this case I've got reds and blacks. Now I'm gonna take these, so the one with the white stripe, that's going to be my positive to my red, and my all black wire is going to go to my blacks coming out of my wall. 
Okay, and as always, before I put this into the wall, I wanna tape them. What I like to do is just kind of bend them like this, wrap some tape maybe from here to here, just to make sure that this part doesn't get snagged on the wall if I'm ever pulling it back out again. Just like this. So this light ends up at 10, this one's fine. This one ends up at 10 and a half. This one ends up about 10 and three quarters. 10, what happens is because the distance from my light to the baseboard here, it's not very big, right? It's maybe five, six inches over here. So any difference in half an inch to one inch between this light and the next one, you might be able to see that. So what I'll do is put this light up like this. I'll just make some pencil ticks. Like let's say if my 10 inch mark is right here, I might just make a little tick over here. So here's what I mean. On the very bottom light, this is 10 inches right here. When we go up to the next light, there's my 10 inch pencil mark right here. You see? So if I put this light right here, it's not gonna match up with the previous one and you might see the lights kind of just one going up, one going down. But So I'm just gonna push this light in as far as it goes. And then I'm gonna try to line up with the center of the light with my mark but if it's not possible like I said if I if I install this light in the center all of this is going to be needing some patchwork okay I did the best I could with trying to adjust these lights up and down um, basically I pushed them up against the wall I drew a pencil mark around the light and I'm just going to take my drywall saw or just a regular knife or whatever and just, uh, just try to cut this And that's it. It's flat up against the wall. I might leave them out maybe like a quarter inch in case the, the painter needs to go slightly behind it or something. So I'll leave them in at the very end when I'm doing wall plates and stuff. I'll just kind of push the light all the way in.